he would have had to pry this thing off my cold dead hands if he wanted this. It has been a while since I've done a thrift with me, but it's also been a while since I've done thrifting. So here is a thrift with me and also Halloween shopping. First off, yes, I got my hair. But phase one of my hair transformation was to dye it blonde. And then the second step was to get this cute little haircut. My sister gave it to me, which I'm so thankful for because I've needed it for a while now. And I didn't realize it until I got it cut. Now, the only thing is now I just have to figure out how to style it properly because it's one of those like shag kind of haircuts, which I, I love how it looks like I'm in love with it. But I just need to like figure out how to actually style it. Because my last haircut, all I had to do was just put some like uh, mousse in it or something and then let it dry. And then it got it kind of got all wavy, but this is a different haircut. So I actually have to like put effort into it. Anyhow, last week, me and my sister went to Mary Maxim because they had a tent sale. When I mean a tent sale, I mean, they literally had a tent, like a circus tent with yarn and stuff in it. And then we did some like thrifting and then we went to Michael's and like all that jazz. And I was going to do one video, but I didn't realize how much yarn I had purchased. So I'm breaking it up into two videos. So this is going to be the thrifting Halloween shopping video vlog. And then the next video after that is going to be my yarn vlog and my yarn haul because I actually want to try the yarn and show you why I like the yarn and how the yarn works and stuff like that. So I wanted that to be its own video. So that's its, so that's, so that's the next video but right now. Let's just get right into thrifting. So after all the yarn shopping, the first place we went to was Value Village. This typewriter was so cute, but I don't need any more typewriters. Just noticing these really cute wood shelves. I don't need them, but they were really cute. I also really liked that. I think it was for a twin size bed. If it was like a double, I might have bought it. With the googly eyes, I was very tempted to buy this, but I did leave it. Then I headed over to the fabric section. This particular value village, I have had really good luck looking for fabric, blankets, accessories, sewing things. Like, look at this. This is like such a cute little Halloween fabric piece. And I really love looking at all the random crafting supplies they have at this store. There were so much neat ones. I didn't buy a whole lot. But my goodness, there's just so much stuff, like so many, so much crafting stuff just in this store. They also sold these knitting collection books. There was a set of three of them. I don't knit, so I did leave them because I, I don't need to be spending money on things I really don't need. But if they were crochet books, they would have been in my cart. Just saying, they would have been in my cart. I wish this book was about crocheting because I love the cat. This was interesting. Very interesting. It looks like a, like a quilt kind of piece. Um, the dinosaur scared me though, so I did leave it there. Then I checked out the blankets. There was a lot of really nice quilts and blankets in this store. This crocheted blanket, oh, it was 20 something bucks, but the colors, gorgeous. I didn't buy it, but I really, really thought it was so pretty. These curtains, I swear I saw them somewhere. Like, I mean, like from my childhood. I don't know from where I'd left them, but they looked very familiar. This coat looked very much like the Ken doll from Barbie. I didn't buy it because it was a small and it would not have fit me. If, if it would have fit me, I probably would have bought it. Also, I know it's still summer, but I'm looking for a certain winter coat this year. <laughs> Not like the winter coat that I've been looking for for the past two years. Uh, this is a different winter coat. Like, kind of like this one. I really like this one, but it was a men's, like, extra large, so it was going to be way too big for me. But I really, I really did like it. Then we went over to Michael's. Because, you know, I always end up in one of these stores. They actually had their cutesy Halloween stuff out finally. But I feel like they sold out a lot of it. Because the last few times I've went, like, you know, I vlogged it. They didn't have this section. And then finally they had the section. But, like, I feel like they were missing a lot of things. Uh, they did still have a lot of really cute things. Like these pink buckets. Or, like, these pink cauldrons. I thought they were so cute. I ended up buying one of them. Just saying. I really do love the cutesy Halloween. I do like the spooky Halloween too, but I go towards more like the cutesy, vintagey kind of Halloween, especially like if it's Halloween from the 90s, that's like my go-to Halloween style. 
they had a really big sale and all the Halloween stuff when we went it was buy one get one free which if you're looking for those Halloween sales at Michael's they're starting if you kind of look around it's kind of getting a little empty in the Halloween section <laughs> so they're selling out and I don't think they're gonna be replacing whatever they're selling out so if you're looking to buy that Halloween stuff from Michael's now is probably the best time to start doing it before it's all sold out which is kind of what I did during this shopping trip. Mummy, do you love me, Mummy? Come give me a hug then. And you know, it's no Michael shopping trip unless I go to the yarn section, which it did. I really do like this Michael's yarn section. There's a lot of yarn and a lot of the colors that I'm looking for. I am looking for like a very particular color for a project that I'm eventually gonna work on. Now, what I found from Michael's, oh, this is so cute. First off, I found this really cute little pink cauldron bucket. They did have a purple version and they had a black version. But what I'm thinking is I would love to paint cute little like retro vintage flowers all over this. Like think like pinks, yellows, reds. I think that would, oh, and oranges, of course, oranges. That's kind of why I wanted to buy this little bucket. And then obviously I bought some yarn. This is for a Halloween project that I'm eventually gonna work on after I finish two other projects that I'm, one I'm currently working on, one I'm not working on, but I have to start working on that soon. But this is the yarn that I picked for that. I'm just gonna throw it back over there because it's with the project it belongs to, so I don't lose it. Michael's had a sale where it was like, buy one Halloween decoration and then you got one free. And so the reason why I got the bucket, I actually didn't pay anything for the bucket. It was $10, but I got it for free because I bought him. I finally bought him. Now, was he pricey? Yes, he was $36 Canadian, which I didn't really read the tag. I read the American tag because for some reason they have to put the US and Canada on a tag. It was $29.99 American, but $36.99 Canadian. This is the pumpkin that I kept talking about and that I really wanted. He was the last one left. And I went to a few other Michaels before this one, like you know, throughout the week and whatnot, and they didn't have him anymore. So he was the last one, and I'm like, you know what? If I don't buy him now, it's never gonna happen. So like, he's just so cute, and I just love him. So like, this is a, a year round thing that's gonna be on my bed. And then I, I bought this. Yeah. I know, I am a sucker for adorable stationery. This one was $4.99 Canadian, but like, it's this little black cat and he's so fuzzy. Because they had their buy one get one free, I ended up buying some of, I got these little washi tapes here, you know, for my bullet journal and stuff, especially for October. I can put these on. And then because, you know, the sale, I ended up picking these. Uh, let me take it out of the plastic so you can see it a little bit better. They are charms, but stitch markers. I'll get one of the little pointy kind of stitch markers. They're kind of like made out of metal and I'll just put it through here and then you got a little charm on your stitch marker. So, you know, if you want cute stitch markers, go to Michael's and get some of their charms because they're so adorable. And then the last things that I bought at Michael's were these little sticker books, okay? I, I love stickers and I love decorating my bullet journal with stickers for like, you know, the holidays and everything. And look at how cute these are. Yes, they are for children, but bullet journals. So if you were to buy like the Halloween pack they're usually like seven eight ten bucks but for this sticker book Canadian $2.99 so that's why I bought two of them and there was a few other ones but these are the ones that I really was like oh those ones are gold like look how I know they're cutesy but I love anything that looks like classic 90s Halloween yes then we went to spirit Halloween I think I've been to spirit Halloween like three different locations three times. So I've been to Spirit Halloween three times this year, whereas last year, I think I only went the one time. Yeah, I think I just went the one time last year. From Spirit Halloween, which we weren't even gonna go to that day, but my sister was hungry, so she wanted to get food, and in the plaza where she wanted the food from, there was a Spirit Halloween. Well, we have to go inside. Obviously, this shirt. It says the conjuring of Lucifer. And it just says it like that. But usually when I wear these shirts, I have them tucked in, so 
the saying isn't really even gonna be shown, but this cat just looks like my cat Totoro, like so much. Like just put a photo of like Totoro right here. It's just the spinning image of Totoro, so I had to buy it. And then I bought this cute little tote bag. It was $13. Here's the thing, I feel like I am spending a lot of money at the moment, like buying all this Halloween stuff, but like when else am I gonna buy it? Truthfully, once October starts, all the stores are getting ready for Christmas and whatever Halloween stuff is left, that's pretty much it. They're not gonna be adding anything to it. So I have to scoop up all that Halloween stuff now before Christmas starts and then I won't be able to buy anything more Halloween until next July. One of those like vintage Halloween cats on a pumpkin. This is actually a really big canvas bag. I really like this. I love a good tote bag and if there's a cat on it and it's Halloween, I'm gonna buy it. Then we went to a second value village. You know, I can't just go to one thrift store. I have to go to a bunch of thrift stores. saw this piece and I was trying to figure out what it is. If you know what it is, let me know. I didn't buy it because I wasn't too sure, but I thought it was like cute. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe it's like a napkin holder. Uh, looks like someone's DIY project is now at the thrift store. I know it's in its original packaging, but $12, even I'm not paying that price. Did end up buying this tackle box. I had to wash it outside and that's where it currently is. So I didn't include it in like the thrift haul portion, but I bought it so I can put all my bobbins in it for sewing and more sewing doodads. Uh, I just wanted to mention it here cause it's not, I don't actually have it for the video cause it's currently drying outside. And it wouldn't be a Halloween thrifting day if I didn't finally get the Starbucks pumpkin spice frappuccino, which is my favorite. I used to really like the Tim Hortons one, but they changed the flavoring and I don't like it anymore. So if I need to get a pumpkin thing, I have to get it from Starbucks and pay the money. Now on to everything that I thrifted. I kind of just decided to combine both things together because I really don't remember what I bought from one and what I bought from the other. Ended up finding this here. This is for yarn, sewing, little basket. I pay. $5.99 for it. Unfortunately, when I brought it home, I kind of realized that this right here, the leg is broken. I can fix it. I can just get a dowel and some tape and glue and just fix it up. I'm kind of that person that if it's broken, I'm, I'm gonna buy it because I feel bad for it. That's the thing is like, I don't have people touring my house. Like they're not gonna like see the things that are broken, but they're still useful for me. Like this, just have to fix the leg, but I thought this would be perfect for my crochet projects because here's the thing. A lot of times I have more than one project kind of going on at one time. I like to separate them all so I don't get the yarns tangled. I don't lose the yarn for projects. Like what happens when I cut fabric pieces out and then I lose them. Oh, by the way, I still haven't found them. For anyone who watched my last video of me making that really cool granny square cardigan out of a blanket, the reason why I ended up doing that video is because I couldn't do another video because I couldn't find the pieces of fabric that I cut out for a pattern to make a dress. I still haven't found it. It's a week later. I still don't know where they are. I'm moving on. Maybe one day I'll find them. And then I end up finding these two shelves at a value village. Unfortunately, I had to pay separate prices. They were $4.99 each. That's fine. I like shelves. Do I have a plan for where I'm gonna put them? Kind of, kind of. And I'm also that person that I don't like separating things that obviously have spent its lifetime together, such as these shelves. And they're the perfect size. Sometimes you get shelves and they're like way too wide and I just want something to put little trinkets on. I'm kind of looking around the room like, where am I gonna put these shelves? I do have an idea that's over there is the reason why I wanted to buy one, but then when I saw the second one, I'm like, well, I kind of have to buy both of them. I mean, I don't have to buy both of them, but I, I wanted to buy both of them. And then I bought something that is like straight, straight from the 90s. That's this. It says it's glow in the dark. Who knows if that glowing ability is still on this fabric. It's a board game that you make and there's some instructions on it. A few months ago, I don't know if I included it in a vlog or not, but I ended up going to an estate sale and I actually bought something very similar to this, but it's to make like a pumpkin bear and a little cat. It gives you what you need to cut out and you just follow the instructions. And the only thing that you don't have here is the batting or the, you know, polyfill that you would put in here, but I have a bunch of that in the garage from another project. If I need to buy more, I'll just go to Michael's. I just thought it was really, really cute. And I'm like, okay, I, I'll, I'll, I'll buy it. And that's the thing is that a future video that I do want to do, which I didn't realize I have to actually start doing soon because it's already almost September. That means I have two months to do everything Halloween before November. Yeah, I'm gonna include this in that video. I paid $6 for this, which I think is a pretty good price. You know how some people like to collect salt shakers and then other people like to collect fine art? Well, I like to collect label makers. 
I don't know why, but I like to collect label makers. I don't have this one. It's in green. Pretty sure I have one that's in orange. It's over there. This one I got at a state sale. I think it was for a dollar, but this one brand is called Astro and this one is called Roll Rotex. So two different brands, but they're, they're the same machine. Also, what's really cool is that you can still buy this tape from Amazon. This one here that I had gotten from the estate sale actually had the label tape already in it, but looking at it, it looks exactly the same as the tape that I buy from Amazon. And this one did not come with the tape, unfortunately. This one here, actually the one that I got from an estate sale, I know I'm talking about this one more, gives me a lot more little symbols and stuff than this one, but I just loved the color of it. And I love labeling things, so, you know. For four dollars, yes. The last thing I thrifted, and I didn't even, I almost didn't even see it because it was, someone had put it inside a cupboard at the store. It was just like a cupboard for sale, and then someone put a bunch of stuff in it. But anyways, I bought this cute little deer lamp. The little deer is green. It's a lamp. It was $9.99. Fair. I'm gonna say it's fair. I did have to cut it open at the bottom here. I'll glue that back because this thing was very wobbly, so I had to tighten it up, fixed it, and I actually did put a light in it, plugged it in, and it works. I just need to find a really cute lampshade. I think I have one that will be okay for now, but I want one a little bit different. I had to pick him up and what was so funny is that it was in my cart and some old man came up to me and he's like, oh, like, the deer you have in there, his little leg is broken. And it's just like, um, okay, sir. I told my sister and she's like, he probably wanted to buy it. He probably thought like, you'd be like, oh, it's broken better put it back on the shelf and then he would buy it. When he said that, he didn't realize who he was talking to. And because he's a little bit broken, I wanted him that much more. He would have had to pry this thing off my cold dead hands if he wanted this. Because this is like a cute little deer. There's nothing on it that's telling me the brand or any logos or any dates. Like this looks like it belongs in my room. So I did try to do a little bit of research on this lamp. What I've noticed is that the hardware that like for the lamp um, is not original to mine. This one looks like that's the original one. That's fine. It probably broke and probably might cause a fire. So the new one is okay. It's not very valuable. I mean, it's valuable to me because I love it. Like right here, it's sold for $15. This one here, it's saying that it's selling for like $50. Also, this is the lampshade that I'm talking about that I would love to find for this lamp. That wraps it up for this video. I'm kind of surprised I didn't find any clothing besides this. But like in the thrift stores, I think it's because I'm done with summer and they don't really have their fall clothes in yet. And that's what I'm waiting for is the old man sweaters. I think that does it for this video. If you're new to my channel, like sewing, thrifting, crafty, and of course crocheting, why not hit the subscribe button? You can follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. And of course now my Patreon. I think that's it. See so y'all have a good day now.